Chris and what's up? Welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Uh, today we are going to be tying a fly called the Patterson Butterfly by my mentor, Mr. Jon Sigurdsson. But this uh, this fly is dedicated to Jon Pedersen. That's why it's called the Patterson Butterfly. It looks like this. And as you can see, the uh, it's like a trademark of his uh, butterflies, uh, or the Patterson Butterflies, that they all, all of them, every single... Uh, one of them had this black bead on the uh, on the hat. They had this uh, peacock collar. They had rather a thick wing, just like the regular butterfly. And the body of them were you, you were usually made out of either vinyl rib, dark vinyl rib, green vinyl rib, or black vinyl rib, or some wire like a dark green or, or a dark red or red wire. So, and all and the legs of them were of course. Uh, usually dark. Uh, for this butterfly we are tying here today, the Patterson one is we are going to use a uh, red wire for that uh, because simply because Jon told me that it was absolutely one of the very most effective uh, models of it. All of them worked but he said remarkably the red one worked the best. So we'll attach the thread through the hook shank and get the um, thread all the way that way down to the bent of the hook and uh, you're using an assembly fly nano silk uh, 50 denier black for this uh, fly and we are used using a soft medium red wire from uni and uh, we'll tie the wire in like so make it tight Tight wraps and uh, sew it down to the down to the hook shank so it's not uh, sliding or moving at all. And get the thread forward like this. Hopefully the sound on this video is going to be okay. The the nymph, we are using an RX curved nymph for this number eight actually, not number twelve. So we start by wrapping the thread, uh, not the thread, the wire around the. Um around the hook shank and bring that forward as tight as possible like tight uh, together the wire has to be as tight possible together as uh, as you see and I'm trying to squeeze it back it's not going to be perfect but uh, we'll do our best with this and it's of course not as easy to wrap the wire as it as it would be to wrap like a like a vinyl rib or, or some sort of other materials actually Jon was very much for that to, to use alternative materials and for actually the original butterflies he made they were made out of gill net material for lumpfish those uh, lumpfish nets are usually brown or dark red because they have to merge with the seaweed they are planted in or laid in in the springtime here in Iceland and Jon found uh, some of those nets decided to cut pieces from it and try to make a fly out of them and bang here we are <laughs> with the Patterson butterfly. He has also a nymph which is called the Nielsen nymph I'm gonna tie on the channel here uh, that's gonna be just like an absolute uh, yeah first time for everybody to see that but it's made out of the same material. Of course you can replace the uh, nets just with the vinyl rib and I think normal normal fly tire would just go to the tackling store and get himself some some uh, yeah, uh, vinyl glass or vinyl rib or something instead of the net material. But Jon was Jon himself, and uh, he used all sort of alternatives to make his flies and did great success while fishing and casting. Um, for the legs of this fly, you will you can use like brown feather for it uh, for the hackle or for the legs. You can use like uh, brown or dark, dark gray, dark brown, some sort of uh, feather. I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit because I want to um, try to tie in like a yellow grizzly feather for it. It gives it a little look because uh, you will see a bit later on why we are using yellow for this. That is because the wing of the fly that is a, has like a slightly yellow tone to it. So I'm just just for that. So we will uh, snip away the 
end of the of the feather there. Uh, pick out the trapped fibers as much as possible and uh, try to get as many of them loose but it's gonna just do fine and try to take the legs down and we'll yeah remove some of the fibers with our scissors uh, that we think that are in the way uh, yeah remember to like share and subscribe to the channel you can consider to subscribe and even support the channel if you like you will find video uh, descriptions on that uh, in the videos descriptions below and you also find the pattern of the fly there uh, for the butterflies in general normally Ion was using uh, pheasant tail feathers but for this fly we are going to use this uh, mysterious feather from a German zoo that a friend of mine shipped over probably illegal and everything but you know we are here outlaws in Iceland tying flies to <laughs> to catch fish you know it's all about catching right so we take a piece of this feather this I don't know if it's a parrot feather ah, it looks like something big and it has this blue and the yellow tone on it really beautiful mixed with uh, blue on the outside and in between them where the feathers are married together they have they have a yellow tone in them so it's like a really nice uh, colors to tie from and I have only one feather like this it's nice to have friends in Germany right shipping illegal stuff over overseas and um, you'll tie down the wing like so tightly tightly wrapped and it goes like a little bit of you know um, on your side but then we'll remove this uh, one fiber that is in the way uh, for the color of the fly we are using one or two peacock hurl strands uh, to make the uh, color and the color is supposed to be rather thick than thin and then there is this black bead which is kind of uh, the uh, trademark for the peasant and butterfly so we've done the um, color just break away the stems of the feather and uh, make them look nice with our scissors then there is only one step left that is that is the whip finishing and of course the most satisfying part of the tying this fly except uh, catching fish on it of course which is uh, this is a really effective pattern on front rod uh, that is to cut the wing to make the final cut of the wing but that is an yet another trademark of Mr. Jonas Sigurdsson who designed the fly a friend of mine who passed back in 2015 that is to trim the wing that was his trademark and I once asked him when, when we were tying together why do why on earth do you trim all your boxes you know he looked at me smiled and said if you only knew Ivar it catches much more fish than with a natural wing and we are speaking about one of the finest fly tires and fly fishes uh, there has ever been in Iceland. He said that to me, cut wing like this, it's going to catch you more fish. Simple. Go out, cut your wing and go fishing, he said. Uh, it's a nice guy, Jon was. Really like him. And this is, of course, like a video to honor his memory as well. But uh, for the final touch, we will use a solar response cure to finish off this uh, fly and i hope everything is going to be okay with the sound we had some troubles with maybe one video to the sound quality but i think it's going to be just okay and uh, then we are still going to zap it with our light and i just want to say guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe to the channel consider to support the channel and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs>